Hey folks, we've got another Clean Water Systems instructional video for you today. Uh, today we're going to set up and uh, start our 5900 BT carbon backwash filter. Okay, so this is how your shipment will show up at your house. Uh, there will be three boxes. You'll have a media tank here. Uh, this box will be your cubic foot of carbon. And in this box you'll have your valve and your base grub. Okay, we've got everything unboxed and staged. This is your media tank, your D-tube, your bag of carbon, your bag of gravel, have your valve, your media filters, your bypass valve, your one inch adapters, your O-ring lubricant, your top screen for your D2, your power supply, and your instruction manual. So one thing we want to make sure is that you properly review your kit when you receive it prior to starting your assembly uh, and or uh, before you contact the plumber to come out and do your actual installation. For the ease of installation we also offer flex lines, air cap, and your drain, drain line. I also wanted to take a moment to um, let you know we carry the basic coconut carbon. This is going to be good for your chlorine taste uh, odors. Uh, we also carry a catalytic carbon uh, if you're trying to, if you have a city water and you're uh, trying to go after the chloramines. So um, we have two different type of carbons this system would be the same for both. For this demonstration, we're going to install our system here. It's uh, Schedule 80 PVC. Uh, just a few things to keep in mind when you're going to install your system. You must be at least 10 feet from the entrance of your hot water heater. Uh, or you need to install a check valve there so the hot water has no way of getting back to it. Uh, you don't want to install your system in direct sunlight or in areas where it could freeze. So you kind of want a nice, dry, clean area. Level ground helps as well. Um, so as I said, this, uh, this assembly will be for a 948 tank, one cubic foot carbon system. And we'll start with the uh, assembly process. Okay, so if you notice, we have an inlet shutoff, an outlet shutoff and a hose bib sample valve here. Uh, we recommend that you set up a system like this. So the first thing we're gonna do is install our D-tube. Uh, one thing you wanna do, some of these D-tubes get, uh, are screwed together here, the filter assembly. So you wanna just make sure that didn't come loose in transit and just give it a little tightening. We're gonna go ahead and install the D-tube in the tank. As you can see right now, the tube is above this level of the surface of the tank. You want to have that even, so the tube's not seated properly down in the tank right now. Uh, an easy way to do that is go ahead and spin it like a top, and it finds its center. As you can see now, this is flush with the top, and it's correctly installed. So for installing the media, we have, uh, you basically install the media. You don't want the media going in the D-tube, so you install the media around the D-tube. So we have two different types of funnels. We have a, a blue funnel that has a hole through it like this. And then we also have a black funnel that has a little cap for that covers the D-tube. So the way the black funnel works is you just kind of get the D-tube and you feed it inside that funnel. Now one of the things that you want to be careful, you never want to pull that D-tube up out of the gravel in the media after it's seeded. Uh, if you do that, um, you can try shooting water down it. There's a method there we can try it, you can try. Uh, otherwise, you've got to dump the media back out, and uh, that's a real hassle. So you want to make sure you're careful not to pull that D-tube up out of the media once you have it installed. So with that being said, if you have the blue funnel, you're going to want to tape off the D-tube. And make sure you give yourself a little buddy tab here, because again, like I said, you don't want the gravel going in that D-tube, but you don't want to pull that up when you remove the tape. So. Kind of make sure you give yourself plenty of, go ahead and make sure it's sealed, but give yourself plenty of room there. And then you would go ahead and fill it, fill it this way. 
So for today's purposes, we're going to go ahead and use the black funnel since we have one. And there again, if you're removing this, just make sure you hold it with your finger. Make sure you hold it down so you don't pull that up. So we'll go ahead and install the black funnel. So each system, depending on the size, these uh, the media has been pre-measured for your use. So you don't need to worry about it in this case. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pour your gravel in. Now the gravel, what it does is it basically fills the bottom of the tank up past that filter. So you have a nice gravel base around that filter base. So once you do that, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to put your carbon into the tank. And again, when you're full, when you're done, you'll be about three quarters full. And like I said, these are pre-measured depending on tank size and the size of your the cubic foot size. Okay. So once you've got your media in, you want to very carefully remove the funnel. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fill this with water. Go ahead and fill it up to about here. But you basically want to get all that carbon under water. And you want to let it soak from anywhere from an hour to 24 hours. Uh, this is an important step, so we want to make sure we get that. 